When we start up a new scene, automatically it is lit by our default lighting. And you can see the default lighting is very soft lighting. The light is coming in from frame right here. You can see his cast shadow is very soft. The shadows on his body are very soft. So with our default settings, we're getting a really good look. But we do want to learn how to light the scene ourselves, especially when dealing with indoor environments. This default light does not come through those walls and ceilings. So first of all, what we want to do, we want to bring up our render settings. So let's come down here and right click, go to add pane and get our render settings right here. Once this is up, let's go to environment and let's change the environment mode from dome only to scene only. So let's go ahead and switch to texture shaded here. And we've got some different lights right here. You can add a distant light, a point light, a linear point light, but we're going to add a spotlight. So click this and just, you can keep the default settings. And I'm going to call this, and I'm going to call this the key. Because this is our key light. This is where our main light source is going to be coming from. Once this is loaded in, you can manipulate it either with this universal tool here or in the parameters tab. But what we're going to do right here, we're going to switch from perspective view to our key. And then when you move around in this view, that is moving the spotlight around. It's like you're looking through the light as if it were a camera. And then let's go to our lights tab. In this tab, you can change the spread angle, the intensity, you can change the temperature. So I'm going to keep all these how they are, but I'm going to push the lumens all the way up to 150,000. So let's go back to our perspective view and then let's switch back to iRay to check it out. So that looks pretty good, but you can see there are some pretty harsh shadows on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a second light. And this one is going to be called our fill light. This one's not going to be as intense, but it's going to fill in those harsh shadows. Let's switch back to texture shaded. Then let's switch to fill. And you're going to want to point this at where those harsh shadows are. And in our lights tab, let's move this up to, let's just do 30,000. Switch back to perspective view. Check out the eye ray. So you can see all those harsh shadows are being filled in. And that's looking pretty good. But if you want a studio looking light setup or a three point light setup, we're going to add another light. And this one is going to be called our kicker. Let's switch to our kicker. And what we're going to do, we're going to go behind him, turn around and we want this one to be pretty much opposite from where our key light is. And we want to highlight the edge of our character. This is going to give us a nice studio look. So this one also we're going to put up to 150,000. Let's go back to our perspective view, switch back to eye ray, and let's click off of the kicker so we don't have that wireframe. So really quickly, we get a really good look with our lighting setup. I'm going to link to a couple of other tutorials that I suggest you check out. They'll go into more detail on the render settings and working in iRay.